Hello everyone, today's the day. The new AI charting assistant is here and it is a game changer. AI charting assistant securely records, transcribes, and summarizes your client sessions for you. So you can focus more on your clients, not on your notes. An AI charting assistant works with both Practice Better Telehealth sessions and Zoom one-on-one -on -one sessions. So first, to set it up, you'll enable the add-on by heading to My Subscription and scrolling down to Add-ons. So once you've enabled the add-on, then we'll head to your telehealth and messaging settings to adjust a few extra settings to customize AI Charting Assistant and how it will work for you. The first one is here, and this will enable recording of Practice Better Telehealth sessions on Start by default. That way you won't have to remember to turn it on every time you get on a call. Now, if you are using Zoom for your sessions, you'll also need to turn on automatic recordings in your Zoom account settings itself. If you don't wanna turn on automatic recording, you can still turn it on manually every time you start a Practice Better telehealth session or a Zoom one-on-one -on -one call. Next, you'll want to choose the format you want your summaries in. You can choose from narrative notes, which uses a paragraph format, outline notes, which summarizes key points in bullet points, or SOAP notes, which organizes your summary into subjective, objective, assessment, and plan. You can also choose your preferred format for different services, which will override what you choose by default here. Say you want to use outline notes for your initial consultation session, but you'd rather use SOAP notes for your follow-up calls. You can choose those formats in the settings for each service, no problem. When a session is over and the recording is finished, you can access the recording in a few ways. So let's start with the notes and recordings section of your client's record. So I'm gonna head to Mary Smith and the notes and recordings section. And then we're going to select the recordings tab here. You can also find the recording in the session details page for the session or from the client hub. So we're going to take a look at one of my recordings. I'm gonna select view and you'll see the recording hub pop up here. So from here, you can do many things. So you can play back the audio recording. You can read the full written transcript here at the bottom. You can review your session summary, which is in this section here. I've selected outline notes for my format, as you can see. And you can also review any action steps that were discussed. You'll also find bookmarks here that will take you right to key parts of the transcript. So you can just simply click on them and you can find what you need in the transcript. So AI charting assistant is really a game changer, right? How much time will you have saved when you don't have to type all of this out yourself during an after each session? It's a huge time saver and lets you stay focused on your client conversations, not on your notes. All right, let's continue taking a look at what else you can do in the recording hub. So if we go up to our action items here, you can also create a new task for yourself or your client by simply clicking on any action item, as you can see here. When you click on an action item that's related to a booking, you'll be given the option to actually schedule in the next se session for your client. Or if you select the send invite to book icon here, you can invite your client to book themselves. So a couple options there. You can also search the transcript for any keyword, then it'll pull those up right in the transcript. You can edit the transcript here, or you can hover over these three dots to download the transcription or download the audio file itself. Now let's look at a few more ways you can streamline your workflow. So the first is to set up an automation. So we're gonna to head to my practice, automations. So we're going to be looking at an automation that will allow you to uh, create notes for any recorded telehealth session automatically. So when a session is recorded, a note will automatically be created with the linked recording. So as you can see, you can choose which services you want to trigger this automation. You can select multiple if that makes sense for you. I just have my follow-up session selected here. And then you'll also select which note template you want to use. Again, I've got my follow-up session notes template. 
The last checkbox here will add a session summary to any existing in progress notes you have going for your session. So any note you created before or during the session. All right, so one other way you can streamline your workflow is to actually add placeholders for session summary and action items into your note template itself. So we're gonna head to note templates here and I'm gonna select my follow-up session note template. And what we can actually do using placeholders is pull those session summary and action items right in. So I'm just gonna scroll down and you can see them here, session summary and action items. And then also, if you're using a soap note format, you can select the summary um, for each section of the soap note that you can see here. So that'll pull that in when you have that placeholder set up. So once a note is created with a linked session recording, the session summary and action items will automatically get pulled into that note. Now let's take a look at how this all comes together. So I'm going to head to my client Mary's client record and you'll see in her activity log here, a note was created via automation. So that was the automation that we just set up. So when we open this up, we'll be able to view the note. And when we scroll down here, you'll see that the summary and the action items were pulled in automatically right into that note. Now, one thing that I did want to mention is if you create a note without a linked recording, or maybe you want to link the recording later, you can use snippets to pull up the session summary and action items. So using our two curly brackets, we pull up our list of snippets and we can add in our session summary here. So that pulls that right in using the snippet in just one click. So this will work as long as you have a session note linked. And again, this is only if you wanted to create a note without a linked recording, or maybe you link the recording later, you can still pull those in using snippets. So as you can see, if we scroll up here, you can also access the recording hub by clicking view recording here, and that will pop up there. Again, all of this was automatically created for you without any manual work on your end. All right, that's it. AI Charting Assistant is such a game changer. It securely records, transcribes, and summarizes your client sessions for you. So you can focus more on your clients, not on your notes. You'll save hours of time you might have spent compiling notes and more time focused on supporting your clients. It's such a big win. So give it a try. Use AI Charting Assistant on your next client session. Let us know what you love about it and how we can help.